Hello everyone and welcome back to Co-Opt Up, where four friends gather around talking casually about anything and some things. Tonight, I have my three good friends, Cameron. Hey, that's the name. Alan. What's going on, peeps? And Connor. There might be a chance I'll be dead after this podcast, but for posterity, posterity's sake, or whatever. Posterity's sake? Posterity stakes. Um, I wasn't playing Sims 3 while this podcast was happening. Awesome. And if anybody makes you think I was, they're wrong and they need to be killed. Ooh, yep. okay. and, uh, well, I mean, that won't happen this podcast. Maybe it will. Who knows? Who knows what's in store for these stakes that we're going to prepare? I also didn't introduce myself. I'm Kenny. Oh, my God. I can't believe I forgot to say my name. Oh, thank God you said. I forgot your oh, name. Oh, man. Yeah, thank God. Ooh. I mean, oh, you guys would forget situation. about me entirely, but uh, before we go ahead and dive into something substantial, let's go ahead and name our topic for this week, which is going to be fast food. Oh, God. Or maybe maybe not fast food. No, no, no. Just fast food. Never mind. Sh- shut up, me. Just fast food. What are you trying? Are you trying to sabotage this episode? I'm trying to sabotage this episode. We can't have that. Well, I'm trying to get as far away from my microphone as possible because I can't trust this guy. You know what we can have, though? We can have you talking about your past week, Alan. Oh, I got Ethernet on my computer, so I probably (laughs) shouldn't disconnect ever. (laughs) And hopefully you guys didn't notice how many times I disconnected previously. I don't think I did. I disconnected so many times during the podcast, like you would not believe. Oh, I'm so sorry. Streamlabs doesn't warn me about it because it mutes Discord. Dang. Yeah. Oh yeah, doesn't it does mute Discord? You're right about that. Yeah, I never hear it. Which is actually pretty nice. You know, it's a good feature. Nice feature. What have you been taking advantage of with your Ethernet? Yeah, I was just about to ask. My dude. Oh, he just disconnected. Did he (laughs) actually disconnect? Oh, that would have been funny. It's the joke, bro. (laughs) Oh, I don't think you planned it, but yeah, go on. What else? I mean, that's just, just that's all that happened. I literally spent my entire week trying to get internet to work and, and connecting the internet to my house. How did you mm-hmm. jerry rig that and stuff? You're um, currently in the basement, right? Yeah. So we have fuck the router is down here now. It is okay. connected via um, coaxial cable to mm-hmm. upstairs. The upstairs has a Mocha adapter. And that is connected to my mother's computer so that she can work from home. Oh. Down here, we have a switch that connects both my father's and my own computers to Ethernet. And to be honest, it took us a lot longer than I thought it fucking would to get this shit to work. Mm. Took a couple days at least, right? <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah, just dude. plug and play though? Why don't you go fuck yourself, Cameron? <laughs> Joke. Plug and play? What yeah, is this, uh, Nintendo 64? That's what they taught us in networking class. What did they teach you in networking class? Nothing. Don't talk to me. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what networking class taught you? Yep, just plug and play. Okay. I mean, there's more to it, but I'm not going to go into that because that'd be boring. You're right. It would be boring. So I'm glad you decided to talk about your week instead. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's been kind of eventful. Um, I had a birthday. You're right. Woo-hoo! You did have a birthday. During, during oh, the quarantine. Oh. I'm a quarantine birthday boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, How old are what you? What else? Don't, I am don't 23. That. That's right. And the oh. thing is, I lied to my new boss because I got a new job. Why, why'd you, you lie? Acci- What's wrong? Liar. I accidentally lied to my boss during the interview <laughs> processing. Oh yeah? What'd you say? I had I had the interview the day before my birthday and I said uh, he asked how old I, I was and I said, Oh, I'll be twenty four tomorrow and he said, Oh, happy birthday and then I got home, I'm like, Wait, <laughs> I won't be twenty four, I'll be twenty three. <laughs> <That's laughs> I, I forgot fucking mouth shut. Now I have to pretend yeah. I'm twenty four. Do you? What do tw- what do twenty four year olds do so I could fit in and um, don't seem suspicious? The same well, thing 23-year-olds do? I don't know what you want. It's got to be different. It's got to be. How different is it going to be? I mean, I that's know. like saying, how different are you from 22 to 23? Like, yeah, how different were you? 
Uh, when do not I very s- different, dude. What yeah. age do I start when I have to share like Dilbert comic strips? Uh, I think never. 31. Is that thirty-one? Is a thirty-one thing? That's, okay, that's not an age thing. That's a state of mind, dude. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and, and that's a common. generation thing. It's coming. Uh, and then I was gonna say something else. Oh, uh, there was a new Nintendo Direct. On, there was there. Uh, on Super Mario Maker 2. It wasn't a direct, it was just an announcement. Wasn't oh, it was it? just an announcement about uh, Super Mario Maker World. Or Maker yeah. World, I can't remember. And I am very hyped for that, and I'm excited to play it again. Is that 3D, or what? what is it? No, it's... Okay, so you, you know how you can make levels and just upload it? Uh-huh. Well, now you can design an actual, like, hub world, and you can put your levels into that hub world that you design. So you could make like stories or overarching levels that connect one oh, another. Oh, okay. But it's very sweet, if, and I'm very what happy. If, what if Super Mario Maker Two could help you redesign real life? That'd be stupid. What? Are you high? I think. I'm well, gonna, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put green pipes wherever I go. Oh, that'd and be cool. You, and if you talk to me, a chomp's gonna come out of my mouth and tear your fucking throat out. Are they called chain chomps? Right. Can I touch you? Called chain chomps, chain right? Chomps. Chain oh. chomps. Can I touch you? Will you, ki- will you kill I've me already, instantly? I've already fucked up already, so I don't care. Well, why don't you continue? How was your week? My week? Yeah. Uh, it was all right. I'm a little tired. It's my weekend right now. Mm. I'm trying to relax. Don't yawn, dude. Those are infectious. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, dude, we're going to build another one out. Before the end of, this, of this podcast, um, but uh, it's it's just it's just been a regular week. Just a regular uh, week. Yeah, I, I got some Papa John's. I got some. Would you, you know what? I got some fast food. Perhaps. Dude, Ooh, we'll, get we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Did you, dude? I, I like. I mean, yeah, we'll get into it. So I'll, I'll hold <laughs> off because I'm fucking not okay. Right. You so to, I mean, this past week. week uh, I've been eating nothing but cooked food at home. Like, I'm so fucked. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? You're right. I'm only eating healthy food, and I and I and I want to die, dude. I it's want that okay. so fucking bad. I want healthy food, food so badly. Well, you oh, cook yeah? a lot, Connor, don't you? I do, but lately I haven't because my stove's been broken and I'm oh. also mm. and my mm. place isn't in top shape so we can't request the landlords to fix it yet penny you should just eat the healthy food though like what's the problem well like the so i live with my family right and i eat their cooking i've been eating i've been devoting myself to eating their cooking for the entire uh quarantine social distancing shenanigans and i am just like oh i i I, it's it was fine like when i first started you know until I, i felt like Oh, we eat the same goddamn thing over and over again. We just yeah, do it and over good, and over though. and over again. It's, it's, it's good, but at the same time, it's just like you know, I kind of miss my my not so goods. You know, Why you gotta you gotta I balance don't... it out with the ones that make you feel like doo doo. I don't get that. What do you mean you don't get? It? I don't get that. Like, just eat the good food, though. Well, the thing is, yeah, too much good, too much good is bad for you. That's a line from <laughs> Karate Kid. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Technically, yes, but also, like, you could just switch up the good, whatever, man. Like, I'm not We're gonna... not talking about the good stuff. We're, We're talking, talking about, about the unhealthy, greasy, oily stuff. We're talking about the piss. Or maybe there is good, fast stuff. Like, healthy? Maybe. Like, oh, you're talking, like, eat fresh? Maybe? No, no. Like, Subway eat fresh? Talk... Dude, Subway's so healthy. Dude, what are you talking you about? I mean, just didn't like, that, that one guy is it just, like... Remember that one guy who just ate Subway and then lost a lot of weight? Yeah, that was yeah. probably a lie. And then went oh, to what? jail because of it? Oh, did he? <laughs> just that. Just that. <laughs> yeah, just just that. Just part. because of that? <laughs> oh, he lied in the advertisement? That's why he went to jail? Oh, man, that's fucked. You know it. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's what happened. <laughs> uh, I didn't what? want to get into this. What was his name again? Gerard? Gerard. Drama? He was pedophile. No, he was please. a pedophilic? No, no, never. He was a good Felix. subway boy. Anyway, uh, uh-huh. fast food. So, let me, let me, 
Yeah. Let, me, let me tell you about fast food. So we're literally right now, what I, all I want to do is go to McDonald's and get myself a like a plain single cheeseburger. That's a lot of fun. No, Kenny, one. but why? Because it's just, there's something appealing about eating McDonald's food for some reason. See, I've because, never... You know, it's like you were a kid, right? And your parents drive by the McDonald's. And you're just like, McDonald's, McDonald's, mm-hmm. we need to go. But then your parents are like, no. And I'm just like, fuck you. <laughs> that you get grounded. For <laughs> and then I don't talk for the rest of the ride. And, and you get I'm Burger not... King instead. Ugh. Yeah, we get Burger King instead. The stupid What's sesame torture? buns. I hate those. Can I be honest with you? No. I've never gotten a craving to eat junk food. That's bullshit. Uh, well, I mean, I not, mean not, like, not, not, how about not like junk chips? food. Okay, that's, that's food? different. I mean, I mean fast food. What about Chipotle? That's not, I don't really get a craving for that either. That's only if like, like you I'm would. eating okay. out. Like if, if I don't have the option to eat my family's cooking, I'll be like, sure, you want to go to Chipotle, dude? I mean, is, Chip- is Chipotle mm. fast food? Would I be yes, I think, oh, think yeah. it is. I think it, it is. Well, I mean, they 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 pre-make it and then they just like leave it yeah, out they as a display, it. right? Oh, yeah, you mean, it, well, yeah. Same with Subway. They cut yeah, the ingredients. Subway is the same thing. Oh, Subway is fast food. What are you stupid? Only Subway is a Mexican. sandwich. <laughs> and yeah, dude, keep keep berating me. I love it. Oh, I must. Have, okay, never mind. Tell uh, me more about it. About. About oh, why cravings. you don't like fast food, or you don't crave I just, it. I just don't see the point in it. It's usually less tasty, <laughs> in my opinion. And then, like, Taco Bell, it just doesn't count as food sometimes. It's just not <laughs> real food. <laughs> it may not be real food, but it brings me happiness, Alan. I mean, sure. I don't think you know what happiness is if you consider... I think happiness is getting a meal... For under like three bucks that is not happiness i don't know where you got that idea of happiness i mean i think That's we talk to our friend like almost all the time and he's he's t- he talks about these three dollar meals that he gets and oh man yeah you know what i don't understand why matthew talks about the three dollar meals anyway he's a fucking white kid from an affluent family <laughs> it's not like he can't afford to eat somewhere else but i mean it's such a good deal it's, yeah, when you see it a good deal, you take literally it. Scrooge McDuck <laughs> in a child's body. It's so infuriating. Oh, he, really could literally, he, he could literally get anything better, but he chooses <laughs> to buy the cheapest shit possible for no reason. Yeah, I mean, he is very frugal. He, he's, I don't know, I wouldn't say... St- well, he's probably smart with his money. Yeah, I believe he is very smart with his money to yeah. a point, sometimes to a fault. You know, I would believe that. But I mean, I guess yeah. that's just how you gotta be, you know? That's oh. just how you gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you watched many of those? Like, this was a trend a long time ago, but with like the tier maker, tier list maker. Like, oh, everyone yeah, yeah. did a video on fast food. I think we talked about this before, but not like on, on podcast. Well, yeah, no, 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 in person. Oh, yeah. yeah, we actually did the list together, but not as an actual video. Yeah. Which I don't know if you will. Yeah, I don't. I doubt it. It's kind of boring. It's been done to death. Uh, we're kind of doing it here right now anyways. True. We're not going to be ranking them, but we'll be talking about a lot of them. What's, just, just tell me right now. Just uh-huh. get out of the way. Best one. Oh, that's, that's actually hard. Because I don't mean? think I have a best one. Go oh, fuck uh, off, dude. Just eat Wendy's. Wendy's. <laughs> eat Wendy's. I don't know. Wendy's is okay. I, Wendy's, what's better than Wendy's? Wendy's like uh, serving sizes are just like all the, the deal though. That's that's amazing. Like I really like Qdoba or Chipotle more, but I don't really like Qdoba. Last time we went to Qdoba, I mean, yeah, all their food was just cold. That's because we went five minutes before they were closing, Kenny. No, Qdoba's bad. <laughs> 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 they were like out of everything and like they were cleaning up the store while we were eating there. I just like the idea of Kenny saying like, oh, this food's bad. I'm like, the cook died halfway through making this. <laughs> no, nah, the, co- the, co- the, co- the food's just bad. <laughs> no. It kind of just sucks, dude. <laughs> uh, you know, I would actually really want to go to Five Guys right now. I could really use Ooh, their five fries. Guys good, the fries. Five Guys is so fucking expensive. It is. it is so fucking yeah. expensive, though, yeah. It's like 20 my, bucks for, like, a normal meal. It's my sister does not like 
the Cajun fries from Five Guys, and I Cajun don't understand it. Really? The Cajun fries are the best. I agree, dude. What would you say? I agree. Like, would you say that like every fast food needs to have their f- version of fries? Oh, like a unique version? Like yeah. no. something different? No. It doesn't need to be different. You don't think I so? Think. Well, I mean, not well, different, but like unique tasting. Like, oh, I know yeah. this. Like McDonald's has their own brand of fries. Yeah, I of, I of course agree. Oh, really? Maybe not just the fries alone, but just in the food itself. You have to stand out. You can't be copying other people's stuff. I don't know. I think fries are so important just in the sense of like that. For me, that's the first thing I eat. Yeah, it just yeah. needs to be usually good. I I leave I leave the uh, I, I leave the fast food joint as I'm driving home. I got I got I gotta get a couple in there, you know. All right, so while we're in the aisle of French fries, who has the best French fries, though? We'll get oh, to the best fun. restaurant Arby's. later. That's Five Guys. What do you mean Arby's? Arby's. Yeah, Arby's. <laughs> what? That's actually, hmm. It's a very controversial opinion you've got there. He's talking about the curly fries. Well, they're different. They're not they're, just. Uh, Fine. Well, I mean, they are fries. No, they count, they count, and that's fair. They count. But I think I, the Cajun yeah, fries are better. I express myself when you all try to make me look the fool, but who's the fool now? Cameron's got it's, you. It's still me. I, still you know, me. I'm trying to think back to all the fries I've had. I really like Smashburger fries, like the shoestring stuff. Remember, really when, uh, uh, remember when Burger King had really good fries? Or was Wait, it did McDonald's? I say Smash Guys? I meant no, Smash you, No, you said Smash there Burger. Was like this <laughs> Smash <Okay>. Guys. <laughs> Do you guys remember, like, a long time ago, there was a place called the uh, the the Burger Emporium in Woodbury? Oh, yeah. No. No. It was where... It was where... Uh, <sighs> fucking location, location, location. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Censor this out. No, I'm not. <laughs> hey, we're live. We, we had a discussion, like, before we even started saying that, you know, I'm just going to send it. Okay. So bite your um, lip. All right. But, uh, like, they had, it it was where, like, the uh, Panda Express is now. Um, Mm -hmm. They had good fucking fries. God, they had, like, the weirdest burgers, too. I think they had Smash Burgers as well, because they had that Mm -hmm. kind of that that crispy edges and all that shit. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of fries, I don't think I've ever had. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just forgetting it because the the only good fries that I, I I would really want is the Cajun fries from Five Guys. Sure. Same. They're very. Oh. Who has the worst? Uh, the worst? McDonald's or Burger King? I Burger think. King like, for me. Uh, McDo- yeah, McDonald's is fine. I mean, yeah. they're cheap and soulless, but they're not bad. You know, I, I actually feel like the the quality of McDonald's fries has gone way down. Oh, see. well, yeah. I mean, they stopped using like beef hey, fat or whatever. Remember, yeah. whatever it was. Hey, I just want to ask a question. Does oh, um, okay. I'm okay. guessing guess sit, guessing sit down restaurants aren't a um fast food aren't allowed. Aren't well, allowed. no, they're restaurants. I, I just want to talk about famous Dave's real quick. <laughs> oh, okay. Their fries were so good, and then they they didn't oh, even have fries. Right. They're potato wedges. They're potato the wedges. Shit to me, it's the same thing. <laughs> I would. They're JoJo's, you know. What the what? fuck is a JoJo? They're JoJo's called potato. JoJo's. Have you never heard that? No. What the fuck are you talking about? No, that's okay. a thing. That's a thing, Cameron. I come to your aid. I'll bring. Thank you. Out. We'll fight on this I, battlefield together. JoJo's is much Dave's? fun to say. It's more fun. Are JoJo's, JoJo's is... just potato wedges? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then why the fuck are they called JoJo's? Where does Joe get off? Yeah, um, I don't know f- some guy named Joe and his brother Joe. Dishes. It's just some things that are fucking. For some reason, we just oh. need more words. We can't stand not having enough words. I just love <laughs> saying words. making up new words. Like for instance, <laughs> we're gonna call we're gonna call burgers from now on um, scorpion uh, sandwiches. Yep. That what probably exists, but okay. Okay. Um, you know what uh, I really want? I want those, uh, in terms of fries, I want those, like, waffle fries, where they come in a circular oh. form, and they have, they're in, like, a, like, a waffle shape. They look like a waffle, yeah, yeah. I was gonna bring up Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, maybe. Because I really don't like their fries. Oh. <laughs> Which are waffle fries. Uh-huh. They're just, it's the worst waffle fry I've ever had. Like, my, the school I went to had better waffle fries than yeah. Chick-fil-A. Okay, gee. I don't, like, they're so bland. I don't know what it is. 
Well, I mean, have no you, seasoning on them. Have you guys ever cooked yourself frozen fries? Like you buy like oh. those frozen bags of fries from like a Walmart, and then yeah. cook them and then you know, bake them in your oven. And you're disappointed. You're disappointed because they taste like absolute shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're still crunchy on the inside yeah no well no because i always have the problem where it's soggy on the inside and bloated and like pff, they, have, they, they <laughs> don't they never up. feel like they're fully cooked no matter how much sure. you how how long you leave them in there i think that's more of an issue with like tater tots okay. honestly well, tater tots do tater tots okay let me tell you this do you you have to have tater tots right out of the fryer you can't have them delivered they get so soggy oh, so yeah. fucking quick like literally, the crispiness of a tater tot is like a half life of like a French. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a like time life. bomb of potato. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. 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 Okay. Bah, 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 bah. Are food trucks considered fast food? Sure. Yeah, I'll, idiot. Yeah, I'll say so. Yeah. I just felt like calling you an idiot there. I'm it's sorry. literally a meal on wheels. Alan. I haven't gotten anything Bro. from a food truck ever since the State Fair, though. Well, that's because this is the worst place to get fast food from a food truck. I mean, it's there's something a... appealing about food from a truck, you know? Dude, I honestly think that food trucks have some of the best food ever. I think yeah. some of the best people, too. Yeah. Or, like, showmanship in a way. Hey, don't don't uh, don't joke yourself off too hard I there, Cameron. Like, I feel oh, like... What? <laughs> I didn't work in a food okay. truck. Oh. <laughs> he, worked, he worked as a carny. Um, as a carny, dude, I just sold fries uh, out of a uh, RV. I feel like <laughs> That's a food truck. That's a truck. Connor, talk. We're making fun know. of me. You threw. You, you guys all thrown me off. I'll throw you back on. Okay. Oh! Food. Um. What is like? Okay. What okay. is the number one thing you'd want from a place? So like. Mean? So like, here's what I'll say. Like. If I had to get like an item, like like right away, and like if I had to pick one item from like a fast food restaurant, my item would be probably an egg sausage burrito from McDonald's. Like that's my fucking oh. life. Like I love those to death. They're so cheap. They're really good. I love egg. Now, <laughs> what about you boys? Um, so I got I like I got an immediate answer. If I cannot get like a food truck taco, I am definitely gonna get uh, what is it? The spicy chicken from Wendy's. Spicy chicken oh. sandwich is my bitch. Oh sure, uh, yeah, dude. I remember like in high school they would serve us those like they would sometimes serve chicken patties, and I get so excited. And like as I pull the bun open to get some ketchup, I'd see those little black dots, and I would just grimace. And I'm like, "Oh, this bitch spicy! Oh, <laughs> why do you oh, hate the spicy oh. one? Oh, and the buns and, and the pudding is soggy. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's a school lunch, Connor. Oh! School lunch is not fast food. I made those noises. It's actually even it's faster. Food. It's the fastest food. School it lunch, might be. yeah, dude. Those lunch ladies, they work their asses off. Unless like they're that booking. Joey kid cuts in front of you with his popular friends, you know. Dude, fuck oh, I Joey. Suck what? Friends. I don't let them get from me. I mean, which Joe you talking about? <laughs> I I made up a name. Oh, you made up a person <laughs> to protect the identity yeah. of what the this fuck, kid. Kenny? <laughs> dude, fucking Mark. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't say his name. I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. Let's be honest. <laughs> How about uh? Never mind. This is a bad bit. I don't know what thing I would get. Honestly, Connor, I think in terms of, I don't really think about the first thing I get. I always think about the last thing, which is always an mm. ice cream. I always got to oh. get like a vanilla ice cream after I'm done eating, or at least some sort of dessert. You know, something cold. Why though? Oh, because it helps like settles my tummy. How does that like, help settle helps, like, your tummy? Like, uh, like if I eat something that has like a really strong taste as like a main entree, like in order to cleanse my palate, I just like eat a vanilla ice cream and it just washes everything away. You know, I don't have, I don't feel like I have bad breath. It doesn't linger too long, and uh, I, I just feel know. so good. I don't know. You don't know? Nope. Like, I love going to McDonald's and then I'll just get, like, uh, three McChickens for a $3 meal deal, you know? And oh, then sure. I'll order uh, vanilla ice Dollar cream. Dollar ice cream. 
and yeah. then it'll be fantastic. Soft serve ice cream is so good. Soft serve ice cream is the best. But it tastes the same everywhere. <laughs> You're right, though. It's literally the same everywhere. But I guess that's that's what makes it so appealing because, you know, you always know it's a solid, it's a solid sure. ice cream. Yeah. I think the best uh, oh. soft serve ice cream we had was when we went to Mount Rushmore. Remember that? Oh, wait. Oh, so that Thomas Where? Jefferson ice yeah, cream? Yeah, that Thomas Jefferson ice cream. I can't remember this. You don't remember oh, this? Mount no. Rushmore? You don't they remember Mount Thomas Rushmore? Thomas Jefferson ice cream? I can't remember it. Do you remember me saying I was going to piss in his nose? I don't remember yeah. that. I remember that. Dude. Remember how we committed a, a felony? We can't. We can't say this. <laughs> On Thomas Jefferson, I, you can't admit to the crime. I committed no felonies. I will have you know. I committed no truck crimes. Were you there? I'm a good, I'm a good citizen. Yeah, we were all there. Yeah. So you were an accomplice. No, I didn't. I didn't see it happen. I didn't know oh, it was okay, okay. going on. Oh yeah, you were the lookout. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I'm spinning a web. <laughs> we broke into the National Treasure Vault behind the Mount Rushmore. No, no. Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> we skipped. We got ahead of National Treasure 3 and we stole the, I don't fucking know, the the Sword of Independence or something. <laughs> the sword that killed George Washington. I mean, he was bloodletted, so. <laughs> what? Uh, back, back to your actual question, Connor. Yeah, I usually I, I really like breakfast food. So like any kind of breakfast item, yeah, like I really like the McMuffin from uh, McDonald's. You know, what, honestly, I think biscuits. Is that I'd a thing? rather I'd rather get a hash brown than like a selection of fries because like <gasps> I get a hash right. brown. It's so fucking crispy, dude. It's so uh -huh. hot. I enjoy it. And then you know what? The moment doesn't last too long. It's, it's, it's short but sweet, and it doesn't make me feel like I need to get more. Meanwhile, when I have fries, I just pick them up and I shove them into my fucking <laughs> mouth like some, some Neanderthal. Like, <laughs> You're right about that, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't are... even think. I don't even savor it. Hash browns force you to stop for a second and take your time because you got to, gotta like, it's so like small. whistle. you got to little sneak it out of that little, that little packaging and... Oh, the aroma. Oh, that salt. And then you'll... Yeah, it's the um, difference between stuffing your mouth and then giving you a little pick. On the, and then they give a little kiss. Give a little kiss every time you eat yeah. your hash brown. Don't ravish the hash brown, you know? You know? Just but then the fries, moment. you just fucking... <laughs> just yeah. deposit it down your throat. I mean, like, fries are like the whore of fast food foods. <laughs> I don't know wow. what the whore <laughs> Well, I like your hell? analogy. What would you say... <laughs> You're right. That fry is just whoring itself out all over to every fast food menu. <laughs> Where's this going? Goodness gracious. Can uh, I... Can I uh, this is a little too tame. What's... Like... Tame. I want to get controversial. Oh, okay. Let's so wait, it. whoring and fries weren't controversial enough? No, no. It needs to get more extreme. What's like your fast food unpopular opinion? Oh, uh, I don't think this is unpopular, but Taco Bell should be classified as human waste and not real food. <laughs> well, okay. That was a little too easy, I feel. Um, <laughs> I think Panera Bread is not good. Okay, okay. I can respect uh, that. Okay, uh, can I actually just make it even better? Just make it a lot easier. Um, Taco sure. Bell is not an acceptable meal, no matter if you are drunk, high, or in a, in a state that is not currently sober. Can I? It, it, it is not acceptable food ever. Really? Wait. Well, so so I don't think it is. That's harsh. That's very harsh. Honestly, that, if you're gonna I say that, say it. that in front of Matthew's face. I will. I mean, you do. I've, I've already said it. I don't know yeah. what you want me to do. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer it all with more meaning. With more meaning. I mean, Matthew's Matthew. You know. <laughs> you know whenever like you start like an argument with Matthew and you like hear his fucking voice and he always goes to that one tone like <laughs> like he's <laughs> so fucking set in his ways <laughs> <laughs> oh man like what like I've never had like an argument with Matthew where like he wasn't absolutely dead set on his beliefs <laughs> like we yeah like, and fucking like Taco Bell with like the same tone. There's no difference. 
Would you say out of all of our friends, Matthew's like the fast food friend? Uh, uh, I don't know. No, you, no, no, no. No, you don't think so? I mean, just because he worked in one doesn't make him <laughs> a fast food man. <laughs> yeah, You're right. You caught me. You caught me. <laughs> kind of messed up. We haven't mentioned his brand yet, but whatever. No, uh, we can't I, do that. Yeah. Um, well, we can. I guess for my unpopular opinion, I don't think it's that unpopular, but like, I really hate Subway. Like, eh? I think it's I think it's the worst sub shop. What, I, what? You know what? I agree. I don't I, know. I think they really phone it in. And I think they rest on the laurels of have it your way. Well, it's like, can I have it good? And I'm like, ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, uh, because like Subway is the only place I get my meatball sandwiches, and I love those. I'm but just, like, I mean, then again, like, the bread is always kind of like not good. I also I'd don't say, like the smell of them. They're like toxic whenever I walk into one. <laughs> no, I'd okay. say I'd say the recently I had a really good fucking sandwich from them because they started selling they started like selling fresh like literal fresh mozzarella. Not like oh, shredded. Yeah, that's good. And so like I had like an actual subway like 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 a meatball sub with fresh mozza mm-hmm. and I literally lost my fucking mind. And then they got rid of it for fucking garlic bread. Yep. They would put you. They put garlic butter on the fucking bread before they toast it. And I'm just like, what is this? What is this <laughs> donkey do do? Oh, like, do is their motto still eat fresh or what is it now? Because like most of the sandwiches now are very like kind of gross and um, cheesy. Their, and their motto oily. is Subway. We don't condone him. <laughs> wow dude okay you really um, went there i mean here's an unpopular opinion i think sub like all sub sandwiches are like bottom tier fast food all right can i actually uh, give, I, I um, disagree i think there are some places where like you can get a really good sammy like, like i think yeah, no, I can like, name like I, I would never walk into like a sub making sandwich shop. Well, wait, 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 wait. This is coming from someone who only eats at Subway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> I've been ass. to other sandwich <laughs> shops too, right? But like, oh yeah, I, okay. I wouldn't go into any of them over something like McDonald's. Even though say, McDonald's is like bottom, I don't know. Bottom. It depends. I I always go to Herberts and Gerberts, and I don't know why I'm so fucking loyal to that brand. Herberts like, and Gerberts. I've never been there. It's like the, it's like the mid tier sub. I think. What would you say is a high tier yeah. sub then? I um, I know Connor so, will disagree, but I like Firehouse subs a lot. Oh yeah yeah um, yeah. We went there once, and I didn't like those. Yeah, I think. Well, yeah, so. I, I didn't like those either. Yeah, well, that's was, because you got the meatball sub, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I got I got trashed. I, I remember, and I was just thinking, <laughs> the deli meat. and I was thinking to myself, I was like, "Oh, this fireman decoration, oh man, <laughs> it was pretty That's cool. It, it had that cool decoration. It. That was it. That's all I had. All right. Um, but I think pot belly can be a hit or miss sometimes, mm-hmm. but oh. when it when it hits, it's pretty good. I think Mike's. I think Mike's subs is probably my favorite. Really, uh, mm-hmm. Mike's. Oh, I, re- I like Jersey Mike's a lot. Jersey you Mike's is pretty I've okay. I've never had a Jersey Mike sub, so it's like my way of saying, "Hey, I don't know your 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 your, your style." Well, your way you is dumb, me? and Mike's way is legit. Wow, dude! Oh so, my! You know what? Honestly, I don't know why I'm defending Herberts and Gerberts so much, considering that they got rid of my <laughs> go-to sandwich. Oh no! <laughs> but, yeah, I used to get I used to get a number seven Haley's Comet roast beef lettuce. Bacon, mayo, and then I would get uh, potato chips and I would crunch them in there. It was so good. And now I had to go through a bunch of hoops and, and dupes and bullshit to get my sandwich now because I got rid of it. I had to get something called a fucking candy comet. It's got ham, roast beef, and cheese. Cheese! And then I, I had to tell them, I don't want the cheese. I don't want the ham. I want extra roast beef. I want bacon in it. And they're like, so you want a Haley's Comet with bacon? And I'm like, yes, but we can't say that anymore, can we? And then I, <laughs> I, I flipped the counter. And I know the counter is built into the ground, but you did it anyway. goddamn strong. Yeah. I did it anyways. It's because you ripped you're... it out of its foundation. Yeah. Half the store flipped. Uh, unpopular opinion. I don't feel like cheese belongs on a, on, on a sub, but, you know. What? 
What? I, oh, oh, that's strange. I don't know about that but one. Okay. I mean, I like, I don't like subs, but I would actually have to have cheese on most of them. I feel like like a sub is a dance between the meat and the bread, and whatever else you put on there should only accentuate that dance. You don't like cheese like, on I bread? Feel like, I feel like cheese takes takes it away. I don't like cheese and burgers. Now that's now that's now that's a sweet meat. That's right a cheeseburger. That's, that's a cheeseburger. Cheese but uh, when it comes to sandwiches. Put a che- if you put cheese on my fucking sandwich, I would literally start crying in front of you and <laughs> say you're a sick fuck. I, w- I think that's kind of sick of you, honestly, but okay. Have you no, guys, now this is a little tangent, have Shut you guys up. ever had gas station food? That's fast food oh, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, I've had. I got food I poisoning it. after I, eating like a like a riblet. I've never done, <laughs> oh yeah, I've never gotten food poisoning. I I'm usually do after eating like a hot salad. sandwich. <laughs> Yeah. I uh, I used to get. Oh, this, sometimes this has been bad lately. I'll get like frozen tea. Like I'll get like frozen microwave mac and cheese. Uh huh. Like a gas station, and it makes me so upset because it's really good and my standards are that fucking low. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. Dude, sometimes like I used to get like fucking like burgers from gas stations like the breakfast burger be like 700 calories was it even warm i'd eat it in the parking lot and i'd have a i'd have a side cup of gasoline to wash down and then uh some heroin addict would dance around me and laugh and that That was was entertainment that was hell it's always cold though those gas station food it's always cold and it bugs the hell out of me well like they tell you that you could put in the microwave but you can't you can't. <laughs> you don't want to touch that thing. Oh yeah, but that's right. Can't. It's fucking disgusting. Yeah. Either they, either they heat it up there, or you just burn it in a fire for tinder. <laughs> like a Minecraft. Like a Minecraft. Fire. Like a Minecraft. And yeah. Minecraft welcome is the fast my, food of welcome, gaming. Welcome to my Minecraft server. It's just it's just a it's just a gas station, and then it just cuts off into the abyss. And that's where, think, yeah. Have you ever been to like a Seven Eleven? Because I've heard their food's actually pretty good, but there's none in the no, Midwest. I've really. never there's seen stuff. a Seven Eleven. So whenever I hear people talking about that, I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Dude, it's and like, there's tons of them. Like they're so fucking highly populated in certain yeah, places. Like, yeah, but in the, multiple on like one street. But something. there's none in the Midwest. Yeah, it's That's like so the weird, whole world's right? keeping it a secret from us. Like, what's the deal? Like Why they're in other countries. <laughs> they're all over Japan. They're all over Asia, I think, and Europe. But they're not even treating but, those uh, fellow Midwesterners with any respect. They're all, they're all along the coast, I know. That's so but weird. But it doesn't venture inward. I guess, like, our version is Super America? Or Holiday, Quick Trip. I think Quick Trip actually has some pretty good meals I, I think yeah, I mean, sometimes like i miss jingles like the uh jingles it's like the convenience store, store at super, super america. america yeah they probably uh, still have like, that now they I'd just play like, like some stupid fucking taylor swift on the radio oh yeah, well i mean they I, don't play like, the slogan over and over do they not I'd hear that when i hear that song it makes me feel like if i went into one of their places i'd get wrapped in a blanket and given a slurpee or a slushy god whatever and i don't get that anymore what they do is they run over and they kick me in the nuts and then they steal my car. That's something <laughs> Kanye would do. Experience. I is suffer what he would a do? lot. I don't know. Is <laughs> Kanye do, like... <laughs> like, okay, I want to get back to a point we said at like the beginning of the podcast because you brought up pizza, but is pizza fast food even? Maybe. I don't know. It takes, like, it's That's over 20 point. minutes. So... I don't know. Yeah, but it's like it's delivered pretty quick for it a pizza. It is delivered pretty quick. I'm not sure how they do it so fast. Actually, they're so efficient. They're they are efficient, and sometimes if you like, it's a good pizza place too. They'll taste pretty good. Mm-hmm. So I mean, how do they do that? It's... I don't know, dude. Pizza's bad uh, overall, so I mean, get fucked. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm just. You're kidding. not right. You're not right. You're not right. <laughs> Cameron, it's you just, really good. Just, <laughs> I just, I just wanted to make you feel like you had you, you, some you kind of support. Got, sure, sure, just, sure, sure. I sure. took that stilt away from you. Uh huh. Now I'm on one down. peg. 
Exactly. I'm all, gone. I'm all empty. Is there a, a good pizza place even? Little Caesars, dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alan. Um, oh, you're off the podcast. You know what? The more, the more I grow up, the more I like Papa Murphy's. Papa Murphy's is really good. I'm a Papa John's boy through and through. I, I, say, I, I, would, I, I like Papa John's too. I like their bread. There's he likes brand, Papa John's. There's a brand of pizza I really like that you guys all fucking hate. And you say it's which trash. one? Which one was it? Was it? Uh, it I, I think it's Devani's. Was it Devani's? Yeah. Devani's. That's not a really huge chain, but um, I I like it. I no, just got really sick you of say, it. You say that you're sick of it and that you hate it. That's me. because every time I hung out at your house, Connor, we always got Devani's. And it was really good for a while. Well, I mean, there was that one no, time where they said, they, said, they, the they got us. Burnt. There was the this one time burnt. when they got us a pizza and it was like all burnt at the bottom. And it was like, oh, the man, this is fucking burnt. tastes gross. I, this changes everything now. Yes, the it does. Is burnt, you guys. Did I complain about burnt crust? Because I don't remember this. I remember no, because of the, you guys well, I mean, all maybe. Gave, me, gave me a hard, or not a hard, just we, gave a hard time to the world when <laughs> the crust was burnt, you guys, and it's just like, <laughs> I'm just a fucking hog. I don't give a shit. No, not just the crust, but like the entire bread at the bottom of the pizza was burnt. I'm just like, oh, I can taste burnt, the char. Guys. Hey, guys, take a step back. Flip that sucker over. The crust is burnt. You probably wouldn't like, um, what's that called? The uh, Neapolitan pizza? Never, uh, never seen it. That's where it's it's usually cooked in like a brick oven. It doesn't really have sauce. It, it has like oil instead. But huh? it's so good. Like Punch Pizza is a pretty popular. I think it's the only Neapolitan fast food chain. Punch Pizza? Yeah. Man, I don't think I've ever been to a Punch Pizza. I just punch it. You, it's good. You should go get it. Where is it? It's well. I, it's where you live. It's in your area. Is it? Yeah. Never been there. Never seen it. Actually, ha- is it next to that uh, Walgreens we always visit? Walgreens that we always drive it. by next to your guys' house. Well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty guys, good. We've given way too much fucking information. <laughs> the wi- hey, hey, us. guys. Guess what? We we live next to a Walgreens. <laughs> dude, Walgreens is they're, everywhere. Dude, they're gonna chill. Find, they're gonna find us. <laughs> <laughs> you literally say the city name earlier. Yeah, they're no, gonna it's like find whatever. Us. No, no, it's 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 whatever. But um, are you guys ever? I mean, you guys talking about pizza, and you guys mentioned a lot of brands. Are you loyal to any brand? I mean, I'm like not loyal to it. I um, just prefer Papa John's. Weirdly, are sure. uh, weirdly Herberts and Gerberts because one time yeah, I yeah. wanted to get fresh bread, and. Uh, I, I made it look like I only had a credit card at the time. And, you know, it's just a dollar, but they're just like, just fucking take it. And I was like, okay, no, 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 no. And I paid with actual cash. But I was just like, yeah, they're willing to go to my way, just give me the fucking bread. And, like, whenever whenever I go into an Herber, Herberts and Gerberts store, they always just seem like they're having a good time and they're enjoying themselves. Oh, it's always like dead silence whenever I go to one. <laughs> oh, no. it's, it's, like, bread. it's like a ghost town. I think I just bring joy. I don't know about you and your ratchet ass. That's fair. Maybe. That's fair. I don't really know if I have a brand that I'm loyal to. I really like to mix it up. I get sick of places really quick. Sure. But, like, the only place I could really be loyal to is, like, pizza chains because it's usually, like, where I live and it's, mm-hmm. like, the only option. But I've had the biggest change of heart with Domino's. Domino's? Like, I, used to, I hated it so much growing up and then i started living at college there was like a domino's like a five minute walk away from me and i'm like it's so much better now i, I don't know, know why i don't know i've never had a good yeah, I domino's used do- i used to hate domino's, domino's but their food's gotten way better yeah it's improved a lot i know it did a whole change with the ingredients did they we know that we, we used to suck nuts and fuck butts but um we're good now yeah, and their pastas are pretty good too. I like their pastas or the Alfredo. I don't know. It's I don't know. Just, they're just very consistently good in my eyes, and I think they have the best crust. The best, the best crust. I, I think they know. have the best crust. You think they have the best crust? I think they have the best crust. Papa John's is 
boring. Okay, crust. I'll okay, say that's... I'll say on that note. Let's go ahead and end the podcast. Oh, huh? okay. All right. All right. Don't let Connor yeah. have a say. Silence the media. I mean, what do you want to say, Connor? Huh? Before I silence you. Forever. Oh, can I actually say something? No. Instead of Connor. No. You said enough. It's a positive thing, though. Um, I'd say. Well, that's it. God. <laughs> Cameron, uh, what do you want? Uh, support your local businesses in the time of need. Uh, support the smaller businesses first. But you could support chains as well. But workers need money. This guy. <laughs> like, a very, like what, a do you, very what do you think we message. are? Who do you think we yeah, are, Cameron? Who do you think listens to us, Cameron? <laughs> who listened all the way to the end to hear this message? <laughs> <laughs> when, you know, you know the disease is over by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Okay. Thank you for tuning in to Co-Opt Up, because this podcast was brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. <laughs>